So if you remember the story that this missionary approaches me at the airport and gives me a little sermon about the, the Bible. And when he asks me, what's my relationship with the Bible? I said, I'm a coin. So Aaron is my, uh, is my grandfather. So Moshe is my uncle and Miriam is my aunt. That's my relationship. So Miriam's greatness is never lost. It continues to be inherited by her descendants, by her children, and by extension to the whole Jewish people. Miriam is not considered one of the matriarchs. A matriarch is somebody who everyone inherits from. So there were only four matriarchs. We inherit certain qualities, all of us, for all time to come. We inherit certain qualities from Sarah. We inherit other qualities from Rivka and then from Rachel and from Leah. Those are our maternal ancestors. What does it mean? We inherit who we are from them, but only those four. There are also only three patriarchs. So we have three fathers. We inherit love of God from Avraham, fear of God from Yitzhak, and compassion for God from Yaakov. That's it. The next great leader, Moshe, is not a patriarch. He is Moshe Rabbeinu, Moshe our teacher. You don't inherit from a teacher. You acquire from a teacher. You acquire wisdom, you acquire knowledge, you acquire a way of thinking. That's what a teacher gives the students. It's not called an inheritance. It's a gift. It's a, an acquisition. But it's a teacher, not a patriarch. And the same with Miriam. Miriam is not a matriarch. <clears throat> we don't inherit her qualities, but we certainly acquire her qualities through her role modeling and so on. So it's still very much alive. Moshe is very much alive. Aaron is alive. Miriam is alive. It's an ongoing process. All of history. It's a drama that just keeps unfolding and becoming more and more interesting, maybe more and more painful on some level but certainly more interesting. So who are the Miriams of this generation? The children of today are all Miriams because there's something very unusual, unprecedented going on with today's children. They have the confidence to advise their parents, sometimes in a productive way, sometimes in a destructive way, but they're always telling parents what to do. You should do this, you shouldn't do that. You should do more of this, you should do less of that. And yeah, you can call it chutzpah. You can call it, uh, disrespect, but it's not. It's a confidence that children never had before. And it can be the biggest blessing. So that is the nature of a Miriam. Don't be afraid and then don't back down.
If you enjoyed this conversation or this topic and you're looking for more information or you want to hear it again from another angle, there is a way to do that. And that is in this book. It's all there. Order it from Amazon. You can read it, reread it, and share it. We have a Sunday night program for VIPs that you might be interested in. It's informal. It's questions and answers. It's conversation. It's really relaxed. It's really pleasant, enjoyable, informative, and uh, kind of community-like. It's a Sunday night program. There's a um, Wednesday morning program for the VIPs, and there's a Wednesday night program. All of it, just conversation, casual, laid back, unscripted. So join us, take a look, click uh, the link below and see which, which of the three suits you best and join us for some enjoyable conversation.